Here are five tips to help you network more effectively. Hello, my name is Rob Spence. I'm the Managing Director of Paragon Sales Solutions. I am a sales trainer, sales coach, sales author, and overall sales nerd. In this week's Sales Snippet, let's discuss business networking. Now, for those of you that don't know, and even for those that do know, I operate Leicestershire Business Network Group, as well as owning the business. And networking for me is, is crucial for any business owner, salesperson, no matter what you are, whether you're a one-man band, whether you're part of a massive organization. We all know that sales and business is built on relationships, and the best way to get those relationships developed, nurtured, and closed is through networking. So for me, networking is crucial. So here are five tips that I have to help you network more effectively. We need to make sure that you're using your time effectively and that when you're paying you know, so much per networking session or, or per year or whatever and taking the time to network that you're actually going to get something out of it. So here are my five tips to help you network more effectively. Tip number one, actually turn up. Seems a bit of a given, really, surely. However, if you're not willing to turn up to networking events and to be consistent in your attendance to these networking events, then there's no point in, in networking at all or kind of wishing you would network. You know, we all get a sense of um, fear of missing out if we see our competitor talking with, you know, our, our client that we want to do work with or our prospect. Or, you know, it's easy to look at another business and go, look at them, look at how popular they look, look how well they're doing if we're not willing to actually turn up to these networking events. Networking events right now are really popular. Well, they've always been popular, and that's because they are effective. And that's how a lot of businesses become popular and become well-known, is because they, they put themselves out there. So first and foremost, get yourself to these networking events. Turn up, show up, be consistent, and get your face and your name and your business and your brand out there so that you are at the forefront of everyone's mind. Um, secondly, always look to talk to new people. I see it so often, you know, you go to a networking event and you see the same groups talking to one another, the people that have been business contacts for a year, two years, three years, whatever it is. And this is fine, this is great, it's good to, to you know, keep those relationships intact and to, you know, keep nurturing those relationships. But in the grand scheme of things, is spending a whole networking session with these groups worthwhile? What you should be doing, in my eyes, is talking to the new people, people who look a bit lost, people who look a bit sort of anxious about approaching other groups, the people that you haven't seen before or you don't recognise, because it's these people that you want to be using this time to develop relationships with. Sure, those long-term clients, those long-term business contacts, you can have a conversation with at any time. The likelihood of it is you've got their telephone number anyway. So look to develop relationships with those new people, those people you haven't seen before. Thirdly, Use these bad boys, listen. There's nothing worse than, you know, going to a networking event and just having, you know, and, and you coming across someone who's, who's just constantly talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Sends you to sleep, it bores you to tears and you come away thinking, what on earth has happened? So don't be that guy or that girl. Don't be the person that's always waffling. Be willing to listen. Sure, be willing to pitch yourself and be willing to have a conversation but don't just go and say, hi, I'm Rob and we're the best telemarketing agency in the world. You need telemarketing right now. I know you do, you need telemarketing. Don't do that. Listen, be assertive enough to give your pitch, but don't just waffle and don't over talk anyone. Use these first, talk secondly. Always enter a networking event with a plan. It's so easy to rock up to a networking event to go, oh, I'm just gonna turn up and, and see what happens kind of thing, but once again, is that truly effective? Is that really worth your time? Treat it like you would any other sales meeting or any other kind of business meeting. What do you intend to get out of this networking event? Do you want more appointments? Is your appointment calendar you know, empty for the next couple of weeks? If so, that's your plan. Find a way to get those appointments, use that as a call to action during the networking event, and come away with those appointments. If you just wanna go, you just wanna go over some business cards for some long-term follow-ups, then do that. If you want to make one good, solid connection, go and do that. If you don't have a plan, you're not gonna achieve those things. And finally, the follow-up. The follow-up is so damn important and yet so often overlooked. The follow-up is actually more important than, than the first meeting anyway. 
And by follow-up, I mean that stack of business cards you've got or those stack of contacts or whatever. Follow up with them. Don't just shove them in a drawer and forget about them. Email them. Make it personal though. Don't just copy some copy and paste some bump that you know your marketing team put together or your sales director told you to write. Make it personal. Yeah, you may have 20 emails to send. So what? Make it nice. Be personal. You know, it's just, hey Jim, great to talk to you last night. Really nice to hear about your future holiday. Hope it goes well. And thanks so much for telling me about the new projects you've got coming up. That's all it takes. It will take you a minute to type that, if that, if that. If you copy and paste an email and say, hey, great to meet you, my name's Rob, we do telemarketing, hopefully see you soon. Is anyone really gonna to respond to that? No, of course not. Make it personal, Make, leave that long lasting impression. And a word of warning, for the love of God, do not add people to your MailChimp mailing list. <laughs> Firstly, it's against GDPR protocols, um, which sounds really nerdy, doesn't it? But it's against the law, effectively. But secondly, it's damn hell annoying. If I've just met you and you're a property manager, for argument's sake, I don't really have a need for a property manager right now, and you add me to your mailing list, is that really going to make me suddenly go, oh, I need a marketing manager, uh, you know, a, a property manager? No, so don't do it. It's really off putting. So they're my five tips to help you network more effectively. There's so many tips we could bring out here, but I like to keep these sales snippets short and sweet as best as possible. Do you agree with me with the tips that I've just given? Are they good tips? Are they bad tips? Do you have any more tips for me? Please do email me. My email address will be along the bottom of the screen somewhere, rob at paragonsalesolutions.co.uk. Thank you so much for watching this week's sales snippet. As always, I really do appreciate your time. However, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, like these videos, share them, subscribe, you know, send them off to your sales teams, whatever. It's really, really helpful. But um, thank you so much for watching this week's sales snippet. And until next week, all the best.